right, hey everyone, this is Hiking with Pete. Yep, today I'm at the top of Pass Mountain. Thought I'd do a special video around hiking preparation because I know some of you might watch my video and say, what What do you need when you hike? What actually is, is required or what's essential? So I'm gonna go over a couple of things to, um, to really help you. So in my opinion, the first thing I think it's most important for any hike is shoes, footwear. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my shoe here. Uh, this is a, uh, a Solomon Speed Cross 5 hiking shoe. It's a trail running shoe. Um, now Solomon, this, this version right here, this is perfect for my foot, so it's awesome. But uh, this is absolutely critical when you hike anywhere. Why? You've got phenomenal traction on the bo bottom right here. You've got really good stability. I love the fact that there's no laces. It's just basically a string tie right up here um, and, and really just well designed. So highly, highly recommend um, the Solomon Speed Cross 5, but moreover, really any known hiking shoe. So Solomon, Merrill, um, Columbia, I know there's different really good, well-rated uh, hiking shoes out there. So that's really, really important. The next thing you need for hiking preparation, I would say is a really quality backpack. So, and I don't know how quality backpacks are, but this is an Ozark backpack. Here's why I think it, this is quality, is it's got a nice pouch right here for hydration system. Hydration system is critical, and I'll show that in just a moment. But a lot of really good pockets, it's form fitting, etc. Uh, you want to make sure your lumbar, your lower back, is well supported, and you've got enough straps and such to just keep all of the things that are important to you on your backpack. So this is really nice. I've got my uh, wallet and my keys here. I've got my food right here, um, and then storage for sunscreen, that sort of thing. So backpack, really, really critical. All right, the next thing. I mentioned it before is hydration system. So this right here is a hydration system. And this is really important. And the reason why is because if you just go with bottles of water, think about how exhausting it is every time you're thirsty to stop, open your backpack, get the bottle of water, open it, etc. right? The hydration system's nice because it is a, basically it's a bladder full of water, really, really well designed. And then you have this to uh, allow you to get the water and suck it right out and basically drink when you need to as you hike, because it's basically right here on your chest or wherever you may put it, uh, really well designed. And that way you can continue to hike, you can stop and just take your water. You don't have to go and fiddle with your backpack and that sort of thing. So hydration systems, really, really important right there. Um, and then a couple of other items I would say of note, because we live in Arizona or anytime I recommend sunscreen for sure. Make that, make sure you have that with you and apply that all the time. Obviously skin cancer is a big deal. You don't want that, uh, but we're exposed in our trails. So that's a very important item right there. And then two others that I really recommend. This is a utility knife. Uh, this is a Leatherman utility knife. Uh, got a lot of things. I've actually never used this, but you want to keep it just in case. If you're stuck, if you're stranded, if you need to get creative with creating something or um, building something, whatever it may be, right? For survival, Leatherman is really, really important. And then something that I recommend to people that um, kind of goes unnoticed or unthought of is this. It's a basic rag for your sweat. Uh, nothing's more challenging than wiping sweat off your face um, and, and from your shirt that's already soaked with sweat. So I recommend a, basically it's a little washcloth or one of those cleaners that you use around the house, uh, one of the cleaning cloths right there. So those are a couple of items here for uh, preparation for hiking with Pete, but I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, leave comments below. I'll be more than glad to answer them for you. Uh, otherwise, keep subscribing and enjoy all of the videos we've got going on there for uh, all the hiking here in Arizona and abroad. All right. Thanks everybody for listening.